So today we're going to be working on how to play audio inside of your application. Now I know I've done this one in the past, but some things have changed from Swift 2 to Swift 3, and also I wanted to add on how to play things in the background. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're just going to go ahead, open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project. This will be a single V application. Go ahead, click next. Product name, you can go ahead and call this whatever you want, but I shall call this Audio 2. Uh, language, Swift, Devices, Universal. Go ahead, click next and create. And now we're just gonna go ahead and make this bigger and we're gonna jump right into our main dot storyboard because I wanna set some buttons up. So inside of our view controller right here, I wanna have three buttons, pause, play, and restart. And that's what we're gonna be using to work with our audio. So the first thing we're gonna do is just put in a button like so. Boom, we take that button, we copy that, paste it so that we have three buttons. And then I'm just going to lay this out pretty lazily. That looks great. And then we're just gonna go ahead and change the names of these to play, pause, and restart. Now let's go ahead and take these buttons that we created and hook it up to our assistant editor. So we're gonna go over here to our assistant editor. We're gonna right click or control click and drag from that over to our project. And we're gonna connect this as an action. So for this action name, I'm just gonna go ahead and call this play, very fitting name. And we'll do that with the others. And there you have it, so now we have play, pause, and restart. Now let's go ahead and make it so we play some audio inside of this project. Now one thing I wanna do is I'm gonna make this bigger for you guys so you guys can understand this a little bit more. Now let's go ahead and start playing some audio. So first off, to do this, we need to go ahead and import our AV foundation. Now I like to call this the audio video foundation because it works with audio and video. I'm actually not too sure if that's the real name, but that's what I'm gonna call it. So I'm gonna leave it that way. So as I said, AV foundation works with audio and all that stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and utilize the AV foundation. And one of the functions in there is called AV audio player. So we're just gonna go ahead and say var my audio player will be equal to an AV audio player like so, open close parentheses. And then with this audio player, we wanna go ahead and attach an audio to play to it. Now I'm going to be setting up my audio inside of my view did load, but if you have a table view filled with a bunch of songs or something, uh, you would want it so anytime you click on one of those cells, it's going to set that audio. But in this case, because we're doing things simple, inside of the view did load, this is where I'm going to set up my audio player. But take what I'm doing in here and apply it to whenever you want to set a song up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is we need a song to play. So let's go ahead and grab a song from our song library. So yeah, that's the song that we're gonna be taking. So the way we apply this song to our project is we need to go ahead and shrink down our project. And then inside of here, you have the hierarchy. And this hierarchy here uh, is going to hold all your files and other things. So what I'm gonna do is in order to keep things organized, I'm gonna say, create a new group. And then this is going to be my music. And then inside of my music here, I'm gonna go ahead, click and drag this audio file right into that project. And then I'm gonna have this destination right here, the copy items if needed. So what this is going to do is take that music file that I have and put it into something inside of my project. So now we have two files, but if you wanna keep your files in the destination that you had before, you wanna go ahead and unclick that check mark. Otherwise, keep it checked. And also the copy items if needed is helpful because I'm gonna change the name right now. So now this is just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this song, and change the name to sample.mp3. Now also I wanna point out that you can use other file formats as well. MP3, WAV files, I can't think of all the others, but either way, you can use other audio files out there. Uh, for this case, we're just using MP3. Now let's go ahead, go back over to our project inside of our viewcontroller.swift. And what we're gonna do is just say my audio player will be equal to an AV audio player, open parentheses, and then this is going to be contents of URL. Now, one thing I wanna point out here is, let's go back, we have the contents of the URL, and then it has a throws value. So with this little thing right here, this lets me know that I need to have a do, try, and catch value around this function. So I'm gonna go ahead, take that, and then now we need to say do, open curly bracket. So we're gonna do this stuff in here, and then inside of here, we need a try value. So we have the audio player, we're gonna say try, and then concepts of URL, we'll work on that in just a second. But go ahead, close off that uh, curly bracket right there. And then now we need a catch value to catch if there's any errors that go on. So we're gonna say catch, open curly bracket, close curly bracket. And then if you wanna debug the error, you can really just say uh, print 
what my error is. So we're gonna do the stuff in here, we're gonna try specifically this, and if there's an error in doing that, we we're gonna catch that error and print it out here. That's what that all means. Now with the contents of URL here, we wanna go ahead and reference this song. So I'm gonna go ahead and say my bundle dot main. So this is essentially the bundle of your application. Now you can specifically see what's in your bundle if you go over here to your project, go over here to your build phases, and you can see copy bundle resources. And as you can see, I have sample.mp3 listed inside of there. Now if your song is not listed inside of there, you can go ahead, press that plus button and add it in there accordingly. Most of the time it gets added straight into the application, but sometimes it does fail at that. So you wanna keep that in mind. So continuing on, we wanna go back here, bundle.main.path, and then we're gonna get the path for the resource. So in this case, the name of our resource is called sample, and then this is of the type mp3. So as you can see, the name of this is not sample.mp3, it's the first part of this. So we have sample of the type mp3. Thank you, Caroline. Now, one thing I forgot to do, we have the AV Audio Player contents of, and this should actually be a URL in here. So just go ahead and say url.init and then we want the file URL with path right here. So we're gonna use this path that we just grabbed. And then one last thing we wanna do is unwrap this value. As you can see, we're grabbing this path right here. It doesn't know if this path is a string, so we're just gonna go ahead and unwrap that value that we grabbed and load it as a string into the URL, which is then going to be played by the AV Audio Player. All right, so now that we have all that set up, the next thing we need to do is say audio player dot prepare to play. So it's going to prepare that song to play. And then now, inside of our play, pause, and restart buttons, we can go ahead and say my audio player dot play. So it's going to play that song. And then inside of our pause button right here, I wanna see if the song is playing. So I'm saying if the audio player dot is playing, open curly bracket, close curly bracket, then we're gonna run this stuff in here. Otherwise, we're gonna do this stuff in here. And then for our restart button, we're just gonna go ahead and pretty much do the exact same thing. Copy that, paste that. Uh, with our restart button right here, we have a difference between pause and restart. So obviously restart stops the music, puts it back at the beginning and plays it again. With pause right here, this pauses it at the place that you last had it so that you can play it back again. It doesn't go back to the beginning. So this is the difference between pause and stop as we will be using right here. So with restart right here, we wanna go ahead and say my audio player dot stop. So that means it's stopping the audio, it's putting it back at the beginning. And then now we can say audio player dot play. And then it's just gonna go ahead and restart that song. And then with our pause button right here, we wanna go ahead and say audio player dot pause. And we don't really wanna put anything inside of this else statement, but inside of our else statement, inside of our restart button, I just wanna go ahead and if the song's not playing, I'm gonna say audio player dot play. So now I think we are good to go. So let's go ahead, build and run this and let's see where we're at. Now with our restart button, it's supposed to stop it and go back to the beginning, but in this case, it's not. So let's go ahead and figure out what's wrong. So it looks like stop just stops it and it didn't really go back to the beginning. Maybe that's because it just didn't have enough time to go back to the beginning because I put audio player dot play right there. But I'm not too sure why it didn't go back to the beginning. But either way, we need to say audio player dot and then this is going to be my current time. I'm gonna set that equal to zero. So I'm just putting it back at the beginning and then we're gonna play it. Now let's go ahead, test this out. And now if I click play, so here we are right in the middle of the song. I'm gonna go ahead, click restart, and it just puts it right at the beginning of the song. That's exactly how we wanted it. Now the next thing we're gonna work on, when we exit out of the application, it stops playing the song. So let's go ahead and make it play in the background. So to make the audio play in the background, we're gonna go back up here to our view did load. And what we wanna do is create an audio session. So we're gonna say var audio session will be equal to our AV audio session dot and then this is going to be my shared instance. So this is a shared instance between the whole device. And then now with this audio session, we need to set a category to it. So we can say audio session dot set category. And as you can see, it's this one that has throws right here. So obviously, as you can tell, we need a do. And then right before this audio session right here, we don't need to say equal to or anything. We just go ahead and say try audio session dot set category. And we're gonna set the category to AV audio session category and then this one is going to be category playback and then we just need to catch that so catch open curly bracket close curly bracket 
And then now this would work, but in order to actually enable background modes, you need to go over here to your project, go over to the capabilities, go over here to background modes, and we should be able to turn this on. And then you see these modes right here, audio, airplay, and picture in picture. Go ahead, check mark that. And then now we should be able to build and run this and play our song. So now let's go ahead, press play, exit out of our app, and voila. Anyway, there you have it. That is how you play audio and play audio in the background inside of your application using Swift 3 in Xcode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. So the way we apply this song to our project is we need to go ahead Thank you for crashing on me, Xcode. You're you're such a pal.